Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time. As usual, I suck with the consistency, but it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm turning 23 and I'm all in that like phase where I'm like, yes, this is my year. I'm going to make 23 the year. So expect a lot more videos from me and I'm hoping to do um, vlogmas as well. I don't know if that's even still a thing. Hopefully it is because I want to vlog every single day because I've got a really exciting December coming up. But anyway, I hate watching YouTube videos and the intro is being really long. So um, I'll be showing you the look that I do when I'm wearing like a bold lip where I want it to be really lip focused. So if I'm wearing like a bright red or a blue or anything like that, I'm going to show you the kind of foundation routine and my eyeshadow look that I tend to go for. So let's just get started. Okay, so first I'm going to prime. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. And I'm just going to focus that on my T-zone because that's where my pores are the largest. Sorry about my hair, by the way. It really, really needs a wash. And now I'm just going to leave that to settle in for about five minutes. But while I'm waiting for it, I'm just going to use my green concealer to cover my pimple farm. And then just with the beauty blender, look how clean it is. My brushes are actually clean for once. I'm just going to press that in. Okay, now my primer is probably all settled in. I'm going to move on to foundation. Now I have two colors with me at the moment. I'm using Classic Ivory 120 and Natural Buff 230 of the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth because it's that really awkward time of the year where you're not tanned but you're not as white as you usually are. I think I'm going to mostly use the Classic Ivory. And when I'm doing a bold lip look, I never use a matte foundation just because usually the bold lips that I do are quite matte. So I don't want it to be like just looking a bit cakey, if you know what I mean. Gotta look nice and fresh. A bit of that natural buff color. And I'm going to blend that in with the beauty blender. This isn't gonna be enough foundation, but I just wanna see how I go for coloring. My mom's making a smoothie, can you hear her? <laughs> And I like to um, apply my foundation with a beauty blender when I want a dewy kind of finish because I find that it doesn't go as matte as it does when you use a brush. I think that's an alright colour. It always looks okay to me in my mirror and then I edit the video and I'm like, what the hell? Alright, now that I'm looking super dewy, I'm going to move on to contouring and highlighting. So here I'm using cream today. I have my iconic London multi-use contouring set looking lovely and clean as per usual for me. I'm just going to use my Zoeva 112 face curve brush and I'm going to go into that dark shade there just to carve out the old cheekbones. So I'm just going to press that like right underneath my cheekbones where that hollow is and just down my nose. I always know this brush is too big to contour with, but I always do it anyway. Hey, that's not too bad. And now with the same brush and that middle shade, I'm just going to bronze with that. So just across my forehead and just above where we contoured there and kind of over my temple so that it joins the forehead bronze. And like that, and a tiny little goatee here on my chin. Very normal and I'm just going to blend that like so. I will never, ever, ever get over this product. So the way that I get rid of that kind of harsh line is I just kind of, like the motion I'm doing is like this. I'm blending upwards kind of, if that makes sense. And then obviously you can clean it up with the highlighting, which I'm gonna do next. Hey dad. Good thanks, how are you? Okay, and now moving on to the highlighting with the same palette when I find the brush that I need. I'm just using my Makeup Forever face brush. It's called the 104. This is my oldest brush. And I'm just going to use this middle shade. It's like the yellow. And I'm going to pop that under my eyes and down the side of my nose because that kind of gives it a bit of shape. And in the center of my forehead to give my face some dimension. Down my nose. Oh, can't forget to carve out the cheekbones. Just underneath there, like that. This is basically just my foundation routine for everything. Like, it doesn't really change that much um, when I'm doing a bold lip. I usually do the same foundation 
routine all the time unless I want like a matte finish but actually to be honest usually I do go for a dewy finish I just don't like the feeling of the matte foundations it's like I really 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 want to try the Fenty Beauty foundation but I'm like everyone's saying it's really matte so let me know what you guys think of it if you've tried it because I don't know if it'll be worth buying or not all right so that might look a bit ugly right now but we're gonna bronze and it'll all get fixed up so don't worry at all I kind of love when I look like Skeletor I feel like it's contour goals. If you look like Skeletor, you've done a great job contouring. Alrighty, and now while my products are all wet still, I'm just gonna prime my eyes. I've got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden, and I'm just going to cover the top of my eyelids with that. Oh my God, that really tickled my eyeball. And just underneath as well. Use a beauty blender to blend that in. Oh my god, my eyeballs are really sensitive today. Like anytime I touch my eyelids, my eyeballs are hurting. Now I'm just going to set my under eyes and my eyelids. I just have the TARDIS contour kit here, but you can use any light powder. That's just the only one that I've got nearby. And I'm just using the round side of my Makeup Forever double sided brush. You'll never get rid of my dark circles. Never ever, they're there to stay. And now to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to do a really, really light dusting of my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Skin Perfecting Veil on a Kabuki brush, just mainly on the outer perimeters of my face. I just want to make sure that my blush and bronzer is going to blend nicely. And if you get an oily nose, make sure to powder your nose as well. Now for the... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that was so tragic. Um, I'm using my Too Faced, what even is it? It's my Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer and the reason I'm using this instead of my other one is because I dropped it and it's all cracked and I was just about to do the same thing to this one. Now for this I'm going to use my Zoeva 104 powder brush and just dust that over my forehead, dust it over all the areas we use that bronzy cream contour colour if you remember. And see how it was looking all sharp and weird before and now it's looking good. Is my forehead bronze enough? Let's just go in again because I always go crazy with that. Nice. Now for blush, I'm going to be using my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush with my CoverGirl True Blush Blend and that's in the shade, it's in the shade Medium Rose. When I'm doing a bold lip, I always try to keep the cheeks quite neutral because I just don't want to look like a clown, believe it or not. And then I'm just going to blend that into the bronzer with a round brush. Can I please not pull those ugly faces when I'm doing my makeup? And now the best part is highlighting. So I'm going to use my Mary Luminizer by The Balm on my Zoeva 129 Luxe Fan Brush. And I'm going to pop that in the center of my forehead. My forehead skin is so good right now. And down my nose, on the tip of my nose, and above my cheeks, and a bit above my lip. But because I've got pimples on my chin, I'm not going to do any on my chin because it kind of... um highlighter reflects off surfaces so if you've got a bumpy surface the highlighter is just going to show your pimples even more which nobody wants to have okay now that my face is all done i'm going to do my brows off camera because i have a new brow routine i'll leave that in the description below it's a really good one so check it out Okay guys, brows are on and now we're moving on to the eyeshadow. So I always go for a very neutral eye when I'm wearing a bold lip because I don't want anything to take away from the lipstick. I think it's a really nice look when your lips are the main focus. So I'm going to use my Tarla in Bloom palette because that has an array of really nice neutrals in it. Such a nice palette. So starting off with the transition shade, I'm using my Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush. And I'm going to go in with the color Flower Child. That's just to give the eye a bit of depth. So I'm just placing that from inner to outer corner just above the crease. And I'm just going to drag that down to my outer corner. Then taking my Zoeva 224 Luxe Defined Crease Brush, I'm going to dip that into the shade Smarty Pants. And I'm just going to start buffing that into my outer third. And I'm just going to pop that in my crease and take it about two thirds of the way in, but not all the way into the inner corner. It's such a neutral eye look. Basically, we're just going for opening the eyes up, really. 
we just want to make the eyes appear a little bit bigger than they actually are that's looking really beautiful and with the same shade and the same brush I'm just going to take that along my lower lash line and then taking my MAC 213 or 217 217 blending brush I'm just going to make sure the outer corners are nice and blended so it doesn't look just like a chunk of color nice 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 and now for the actual mobile lid it's up to you whether you want to do something shimmery or keep it nice and matte I always like to keep my eyes pretty matte besides the inner corner for a bold lip look so in that case, I'm going to pick up the shade Charma, which is just this, uh, it's like a, basically a white, but it's a bit warmer than a white. Oh, that looks disgusting because I've got eczema. Let me show you on the other eye. Take it up to the crease. Take it about halfway through my lid. Look at the difference because this eye is just so eczema -y. Moving on to mascara, I'm using this little mini Better Than Sex mascara, which I don't remember when I got it or why I have it, but it is my favorite mascara, but I also love the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I'm such a cheapskate, I think I've got them both as samples, but I have bought this one in a full size, so don't judge me. And then I just do really a tiny, tiny coat on the lower lashes. This mascara is not ideal for a light coat on the lower lashes. <laughs> okay, and now moving on to the lashes. My go-to lashes at the moment, especially for this look, is the Red Cherry Lashes number 43. Let's have a go at applying these on camera today. Oh my god, my heart just started racing as soon as I said that. <laughs> I wish you guys could wish me luck, but by the time you see this, I would have already done it. So I'm just going to wish myself luck. All right, here goes nothing. Shani told us to look down and apply it. Like that. Hey, that's not too bad at all. Oh my God. I love myself. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I've got two different pairs of lashes on my eyes right now, but they look really different. Now we are going to do the inner corner highlight and the brow highlight because I always forget that. I will be using my Zover 237 Detail Shader Brush with my Mary Luminizer again. Pop that in there. And that just creates a really nice wet look. And just dust that along my arch. Not along my arch, like underneath my arch. Don't put it on your brows. And now the lipstick. I brought three colors in. I didn't know which one to use because they're all really bold. I brought a blue, but I'm like, if I put blue in the thumbnail, no one's going to freaking click, are they? We're just going to go with red, guys, because I feel like red's the color I'm wearing when people are like, oh my God, can you do a tutorial? I get very stressed doing this. By the way, this is the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Lady Balls. Every time I wear this red, I get so many people coming up to me being like, oh my god, what is that color? And it actually stays on forever. I suck. I just suck. Why do I even make YouTube videos? It's because I'm applying it like this. I can't even see my freaking lips in the mirror. Okay, and that is done. Let me zoom out so you can see it properly. Around my lips looks really red because I just suck at everything. But you get the gist of it. So this is the eye and foundation look that I go to if I'm wearing a bold lip. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget, because it really helps me out. I'll be posting two videos a week, hopefully one vlog and one makeup tutorial or skincare video or something like that. Even if it's not one or the other, I'll definitely be posting two videos a week. So keep your eyes peeled and have some faith in me because I really need your faith. Oh, and I really need to fix that as well. Oh my God, look at my hands. This is a disaster. Bye guys. Bye.